Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make videos spin in Final Cut Pro. Quick, editors, to the timeline! <laughs> I'm going to share with you how to spin video footage using keyframes, and then we're going to take a look at different types of spinning transitions in Final Cut Pro. Let's check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. We're going to take a look at making our video spin. So there's one main way that we can do that, and that is with keyframes and the rotation tool. So let's go ahead and go up to the video inspector. We're gonna select the beginning of our clip, make sure our playhead is right there. We're gonna make sure that our playhead is at the beginning of the clip. While we have it selected, we will go to rotation, hit this little plus icon for adding a keyframe. Then we're gonna go to the end of the clip, press the left arrow one time, make sure the clip's selected and add another keyframe. And then what we'll do is drag this around, or we can drag this down until we get to negative 360. So basically what that does is create one. You can also click here and then type in negative 360. Press return, then now let's go back to the beginning and play back. And look at that, we have our video spinning. This may be the effect you're going for. You may not like the bars basically that are appearing all around the video. If you go to like a spot where it's getting, or it's got like the diagonal thing going for it. If you click here, then go over to scale, you can scale this in until that black disappears. Now, if you play this back. So while that looks cool, it may not be up to the quality that you need for the output or the, the place that you're sharing your video. So I have a cool trick using a built-in effect to hide that background without having to scale in so much. So let's try that out. So first thing we're gonna do is scale this in 50%, and then we're gonna right click, create a new compound clip. Type in spinner. Then we're gonna go to the effects, scroll down to tiling and kaleido tile. So it looks pretty gnarly, but just bear with me a moment here. Click on the side, one of these side adjustment control points. We're gonna drag it till we see these bars, but then we're gonna bring these bars back in and wait for them to disappear. So you can fine tune to your heart's content. And let's drag this other one up. And you see our image kind of coming back there. Get rid of that black bar. So now that we have that, let's return our clip to its full size. In this case, we're gonna do 200% on the scale. Looks like it's back to normal. Then we're gonna do that same thing we did at the beginning. We're gonna drop that keyframe here for the rotation and go to the end, go back in one frame, drop that other keyframe and negative 360. Now let's play this back and see what effect we've got. The Kaleida tile effect is bringing everything together, keeping things from looking amateur. Hopefully nobody out there is sensitive to that kind of movement on the screen. I apologize if that gave anybody motion sickness. I know that'd probably make my wife sick. <laughs> no need to spin this news. We create new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, so in this section, we're gonna talk about spinning transitions. Let's take a look at some of these. All right, so with these transitions, I bet you can't guess the first one we're gonna try out. Yep, it is spin. So let's drop that right here. See the effect. Nice. Now if we select the transition and go up to the inspector, we do have some options. So we can choose the direction, whether we want it to spin in or out. We can also change the center point of where we want the spin to take place, the angle, the fade in, all of that. So the angle is basically where that spin's gonna start. So if you want it to spin quite a bit on the way in, making it look kind of like, woo, extra, extra, read all about it. That spin is outrageous. I kind of like that effect. It sort of hides the edges of the, oh, it's a frame coming in at you. So that's pretty cool. So here's another one. It's called rotate. Let's drag this right on over, see what kind of effect we're getting here. So each clip, is spinning on its own. We can change uh, whether we want the black background to be there, whether we want to have it counterclockwise or clockwise, and also the fade for audio. And we can also drag these out just so they last just a little bit longer. Or if you want it to be super short, we can select it, we can press Control D, 
to change the duration, we can make it, let's say, 15 frames long. Play it back. Very quick. So, you, you know, just whatever, whatever uh, fits your project, whatever fits the flow of the video. Definitely want to serve the video and not take away from the video. All right, so we're also going to take a look at Flip. Just drop that in here. See, it kind of spins the video on more of an X axis. We're going to try multi flip. Now, you can actually drag this right on top of another transition and it will replace it. All right. That flipped right around. Now, there is options here. You can change the color of the background, you can use the image well in order to find another clip to put in the background. Apply that. Another one I'm going to check out is the combo spin. So that's pretty cool. Kind of got a uh, sort of a puzzle look to it. I especially like it in the realm of cityscape and corporate video. So we've seen that Final Cut does offer a lot of options to create that spin effect. Combine some of these effects and see what you can create, what you can pull out of your videos. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Take these tools for a spin. And one more thing, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.